Hey everybody, Mr. Ostasia here, and I thought it would be a very special occasion since I'm reaching 200 video, uh, the 200th video, and uh, to do this, I wanted to ask everyone in my uh, friends lists to ask a question, and they did, uh, and they did, and now I'm here with my good friend Cipher. What's up, man? You haven't rehearsed this, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know how I get roped into these things. Okay. okay, just for the 200th video, I just wanted to um, answer some of the questions that I've been um, asked along with Tenpen. Um, we have eight questions here. Uh, all right, so do you want to an um, answer them first, bud? Or we just go uh, go as we go? Uh, as we go. <laughs> uh, where'd you rip those lips, first of all? There's no question number nine. Um, <laughs> actually, what did I... Why not, um, since it's your video, you, an you answer first and I'll follow along. Alright. First question is from Dirt Bubbles, and he asks, How how are you so awesome? Oh. Oh. I don't know how to answer that one. Um, well, it is debatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I guess my response is to that. Thank you for, uh, thank you for that, bud, but I'm just a humble carrot. Jumpin', what's your, um, what's your, uh, response? Okay. okay, this is the problem. I've heard this guy when we're not recording. Humble is the last word I'd use to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Fake modesty doesn't work well. But how are, how are you so awesome? I've yet to, well, waking up first. But, um. <laughs> Which is an accomplishment in itself. Yeah, how are well, you, you so awesome? Well, you picked me as a tag team partner for crying out Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Plucked me right out of obscurity, but um, <laughs> you know what? All BS aside, you've got 500 subscribers who must be of the same thought process at least. Mm -hmm. So uh, you must be doing something right. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> But this it's directed towards you too, bud. So answer the oh. answer, answer the question. <sighs> well, let's see. Um, I don't think I am that awesome, but uh, uh, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm a bit of a dipshit. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we all are in our own way. Question was, how are you such a dipshit? I have a nice long description and god dang cell phone. Um. <laughs> Alright, um, here's one. This one is asked by Derpy of the Tats crew, and he asks, My question for you is, when did you first have an interest in writing? Oh god. Um, the first, um, I guess the interest was sparked whenever I was around um, seven years old when I started writing my little own book about dragons. Um, I got in trouble a couple of times in class because I would write more than I would actually listen. <laughs> and uh, the li <laughs> But my grades were so good in, back in middle school, one of the teachers didn't really care. She's like, Conrad, uh, Conrad, did you get all that? And I would repeat what she said, and she's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome when you get to show a teacher up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's how I got an interest in writing. Tenpin, your turn, bud. Well, you know, honestly, um, I I kind of bounce back and forth between writing and just shooting shooting my mouth off. Um, you do <laughs> but, that really well. Yes, I, <laughs> um, I could really go blue with that, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, the but in all honesty, um, I've been writing. I'm. Here's a guilt admission. I'm 33. Um, I'm going to be 34 in August. Good God, I'm a geezer. Um, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, in elementary school, I um, started writing um, just a little here or there. Um, and, you know, just quick little short stories, etc., etc. Nothing really interesting. Um, and I think that kind of developed because I had a lot of art teachers who um, 
didn't really see anything in me. I actually have had several teachers when I've taken the art class, their suggestion apologized to me for talking me into taking said class. <laughs> no. so I, my creativity had to show up somewhere and, um, well, kind of showed up uh, um, writing little short stories and I continued to do so on for affinity. So, oh wow! <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm eating breakfast. Oh man, but that's really cool. I never knew that you started writing back in elementary school, bud. Well, you never asked. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it's twenty four seven sass with these two. Um. <laughs> um, but honestly, um, writing, you know, because the other thing writing is I never really thought I was all that good at it um because I always kind of get C's and D's in English you know I was never really praised for wow this guy can actually write but um it seems like now which is really surprising the heck out of me um a longtime furry comic writer um by the name of Ken Fletcher who last year followed me on um for affinity has been um, liking some of the little short stories that I've been writing, and it's made me kind of go, er? you know, it's kind of made me sit up and take notice, considering he was the guest of honor of furry migration last year. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> I'm kind of going, really? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should continue doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um all right. Uh, I wrote this next question because I'm gonna read this one. I got to. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me send them to you. I think I, I think I sent them to you. <laughs> because here's the thing, guys. He sent me the questions, but he didn't send me who wrote them. <laughs> oh. Uh, this and it lists everybody. Um, the th third one is from Creeps Work, so just say Creeps Work asks. Obviously, this is not been rehearsed everybody <laughs> we're doing this we're pulling this clean out of our keisters as we do so well, creeps work says how do you feel about the current state of the creepy pasta community i'm assuming that's what cp stands for yes it does good okay. job good job uh, remind me to give you a cookie later yeah <laughs> um Please make sure it has raisins in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just twisted like that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I would say the current state is a lot of the passion is gone, but the people who are actually really interested in these kind of short stories are still sticking around. Like um, the person who wrote Pen Pal, the person who wrote um, uh, The No End House. I'm... I would really say that the majority of the really good writers are sticking around. Some of them are moving on, but the creepypasta community is dying a little bit, but it's just eliminating all of those edgy teenagers, as it were. <laughs> You're just killing the emos. <laughs> Tickle me emo is going away. Uh, any... <laughs> you know, honestly, I do not watch the creepypasta community. I am not a part of it. Um, however, I do stand with them because the spoken word is something, it's a it's a dying art form in this um, age of media, of video, you know, of, you know, radio killed the, vi or um, video killed the radio star, as it were. But um, I think a good, for instance, a good ghost story is, stands the test of time. You know, it's but it just takes two things: a good story and a person who's good at telling a tale. And uh, it's nice to see the emo, the emo fucks getting the hell out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are they gonna do? Go cry? They do that anyway. Oh god! <laughs> this shit storm's gonna be fun. Uh... <laughs> Yay! All I'm right. Controversial and edgy. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Number four is from my good friend Tats. Tats Top Videos asks, what gave you the inspiration to do what you do? Thank you for your question, Tats. Um, I guess it would go back to when I was in high school, and um, I really loved some of these ga uh, some of these gamers, and um, people said that I had the voice for um, a 
for someone who games. So, <laughs> funny, uh, my, f my first first channel that I did was um, just my name. It was just Conrad Sharp. Uh, spoiler if you don't know my name. Uh, <laughs> um, and then I was offered a partnership with the Not Amused guys, which I try to stay in contact, but I haven't heard a lot from them. Uh, and now f uh, for five years straight, I've been doing this on my own. Um, that's how I actually... <laughs> I'm surprised I've... It shows. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go looking for my old videos, guys. You'll be very disappointed. Go um, look, go look, go look. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's see here. Um, but yeah, that's how I got into it. Well, I got into doing this on a dare. <laughs> 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 and say, well, there's this epic story behind it. No, nope. I got into this on a dare. Um, <laughs> a friend of mine um, who is also on YouTube, Silverwings Dragon, cheap plug, I know. Um, she, <laughs> um, she and I met um, both Minnesota natives. Yeah, I know. Ooh, I just told you where I live. So much wow. Anywho, the... Um, <laughs> we... We met up. I liked her art style. I didn't realize she had a YouTube channel at the time. Mm -hmm. She is a massive Markiplier weeaboo. And so, <laughs> just, I'm not outing anything there. Mm -hmm. And she dang well knows it. You, you want to tick her off, just duty pie in her presence. Mm -hmm. um, but we're sitting there, and I look at, it's a lot, it's funny how a lot of these things happen on Fur Affinity for me. I actually... <laughs> was on for affinity one day and she wrote a journal saying she wanted to do a um let's play of a game called the wolf among us um, telltale games the wolf among us and she had a copy of the game amnesia the dark descent and was looking to trade you know one game for the other um i happened to have a copy of the wolf among us i <laughs> gave it to her and i said don't even bother giving me amnesia i don't want amnesia don't don't give it to me and gave it to me anyway yeah. and Justin maybe I follow her down the rabbit hole of let's play <laughs> um, it may shock a few people I actually have a little bit of a audio background and so I thought oh what the hell let's let's give it a shot worst case scenario is I put up one video you know get zero views a million thumbs down and I um just go tuck my tail and didn't lose anything. Wait, how would you have zero videos and then a hundred and thumbs down? I don't get that logic. Well, um, I just three days ago had twenty five hundred views and now I have twenty four and ninety nine or twenty four sixty four or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> okay. So I don't I, YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, that was three years ago and. My first video was Dust of Lissy and Tail. I still haven't finished that game, but you can actually see a progression of when I really did suck. <laughs> <laughs> and where I've gotten to since. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, dear God. Uh, Tats. Not this question. All right, Tats, thank you for your, um, uh, thank you for your question, bud. This next question, no. No. This is the one, um, this person would like to remain anonymous. So how the hell did we meet? Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, uh, I was digging in my garden one day, and the place that I usually reserve for an outhouse, this talking carrot popped up. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> uh, why, well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I immediately knew he was full of shit, considering where he popped up. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? What has it been? A year now? Almost two. No, actually three. Holy it, shit! Holy um, shit! The reason I know it's three is because free migration. Um, the first migration was fourteen, mm -hmm. and um, you did a video for that mm -hmm. for my "So You Want to Be a Let's Player" panel. <laughs> <laughs> for that, I mean Jesus H W. So. Um, <laughs> But okay, let's try to answer the question. Let's try to be, let's try to be honest. Um, 
I don't think that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smartass. How about you go first, then? All right, fine. It's another. It's another time where um, Silverwing's dragon reared her ugly head. As far as I remember, um, <laughs> I had done a video on her um, on her insistence. She dragged me into a video with Spoop and um, herself and another playing um, Gary's Mod. Uh, I'm trying to remember the exact name of the game because it's been so long since I even loaded Prop Gary's hunt, Mod. Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt. Yes, it was Prop Hunt. And, um, <laughs> and we had a blast playing this game. It was Spoop, Carrie... Carry, yeah, that Silverwing's Dragon, by the way. Um, myself and another guy I can't remember off the top of my head. Creeps Pasta, I think that I was think his it was name. Creeps. Yeah, it was either Creeps Pasta or Creeps McPasta. I can't, I can't recall right now. Um, this is what happens when you wake me up to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you texted um, me, smartass. Well, that's true. Uh, but anywho, all of a sudden, um, I'm in a Skype call with um, Silverwings, and. She, and she says, well, there's another guy who does Let's Plays who wants to meet you in the creepy pasta community. And she just dragged this talking vegetable into the call. And, <laughs> and we've been working together ever since, pretty much. I just can't get rid of them, guys. <laughs> I've heard of beating a dead pony, but... Or, you know, beating a dead horse, but beating a, beating a dead pony? <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, anonymous person, for your question. Uh, you know what? No, hold on a second. Hold huh? on a second. You had a different version of this. Wait, I did? Last night. Last night, you had a different version of this. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. The hell you didn't. <laughs> I remember, okay, all I remember was I commented on Spoop's um, channel. I got in a call with him, and I said I wanted to meet you. I, th I thought I, was get I met you through Spoop. Might have been that Spoop contacted um, Silverwings. Mm, mm hmm. Okay. It might have been. I don't know. <laughs> you see, um, this is whenever you, and this is what happens when you get 20 or 30, uh, 33, old man. Um, uh, and, um, yeah, your memory uh, starts yeah. going. <laughs> to be young, dumb, and well, not so full of. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, it's called experience. <laughs> Left my girlfriend at her apartment for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Um, Alex Denbray asks, what is it like to be a part of the Tats crew? Hmm. I, I guess this one this one's directed to, towards me, bud. Yeah, because I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm just um, pawing at you know, I'm just using my hoof on the door, like, hey, hey, there sounds like fun in there. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, Alex, thank you for your question. Um I would say it's like being a part of a really goofy family. It's it's really fun, uh whenever you get to narrate the lines and um I was telling Tenpin, uh, I think yesterday, that um, I helped Tats write another script, and he likes my writing. So I offered to um, do some uh, do some writing for him. But um, getting back to the main question, sorry for the tangent. Um, really, it's it's so much fun. Like I used to be a Tats fan whenever I was just starting out. I would use I used to watch their channel. I loved um, Kenshin Tinker. I loved uh, all of their narrators. I loved their writers, and um, but yeah, I just it's an absolute honor every single day. And that's that's a little soft moment from Carrot. But anyway. Plus. <laughs> okay, so now you ask you ask the question. I think this one was um oh this is from another anonymous individual. Well, that makes it easy for me. Um, <laughs> anonymous Pony says, "What would you say what would you guys say is the funniest video that you've done?" And I'm going to throw a curveball at you, Carrot, so you answer this one first. Ugh, oh, really? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, um the funniest one that I've done. Okay, I'm gonna. Or it could be that we've done. 
you know, because I see that you apostrophe V E. That's um, that's called a contraction, everybody, and a contraction means you have as opposed to the full word. So it might be that we have done together. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ducktales. Ducktales or gold or Golden Sun. Ducktales and Golden Sun. <laughs> well, that's the only two we've done. Uh, okay, so here I'll think of something else. Um, okay, my curveball was actually going to be the last Golden Sun video we did together. Oh yeah, because uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, sitting there, what a lot of people, I think, I'm gonna break the fourth wall here. I'm gonna pull a Deadpool and break the fourth wall uh -oh. and say, um, you know, because a lot of people don't know that I, when I'm watching the video. It's usually on Skype, and it's choppy as hell, so there's a bit of a lag. Mm -hmm. Sometimes half of the video, that, or watching him play, half of the videos I watch, I don't see what's happening on the screen. I'm just going off of what he's saying, or, <laughs> or just going off on a tangent of my, on my own, which I tend to do. And so You're <laughs> really good at that. No. <laughs> well, I, I am actually a stand-up comedian here in Minneapolis, so... Um, Selfless I, advertisement. Uh. Yes. James <laughs> plugs. Piss off. You can do it if you could. Um, the, you do it all over your channel anyway. <laughs> but, um, I, so sometimes I just smart-ass remark, and sometimes it'll catch up, and I'll see what's happening on the screen. I watched this, the last video, I distinctly remember, um, we had a guy who was an Inigo Montoya lookalike. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, that's from Princess Bride. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> you know? And so we're sitting there. I see him, and I make the, I make the wisecrack, you know, about Inigo Montoya, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Two days later, I see the video, and his little co-host. Are you about to call me? <laughs> you should see him whenever we're unscripted, guys. Whenever, oh god. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> what was that, Paul Bear? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, to see Texty steal my joke. <laughs> he, you should. I wish he would have recorded that phone call. I wish he would have recorded that Skype session because he heard me shoot through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> I gotta admit, looking back on it now, it was easily one of the funniest videos we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not pissed at you, dude. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Can I, I um, say one thing? we hit question eight here sure um one thing that i keep hearing from a lot of um my viewers on ducktales while we are on ducktales <clears throat> is um one of my best friends local let's player local vlogger by the name of sonic god he <clears throat> um says one of his biggest pet peeves is when people talk over you know the video you know when the player has no control and you just sit there and watch the mm -hmm. wonderful thing about DuckTales is that they actually voice acted the cutscenes. Mm -hmm. Not that you know by watching our video. <laughs> talking carrot who just won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Excuse but, me, it's it's Mr. Carrot, thank you. <laughs> and um carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we pulled you out of this time? <laughs> <laughs> um, but he said, you know, I loved watching the videos, but when it comes to playing, you know, Viagra and the snake jokes are going Oh, on. God. But <laughs> he said the biggest pet peeve he has about that is that he wants to sit back and watch the, you know, the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, watch the cutscenes, and I said, you know what the problem is? You try telling a 19-year-old kid to shut the fuck up. <laughs> or, you know? And I have always kind of suspected that you've 
had the same issue that I've had when I'm watching you play. Yeah, because it's laggy as hell. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a lag, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I've always assumed that. That's why I've never really jumped down your throat about it, except for comedic purposes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, I need to talk to this uh, Sonic God dude. Uh, tell him, tell him my car a carrot says hi from the vegetable garden. I don't think you want that lion in your vegetable garden. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Sonic God, thank you, brother, for helping me get the new RAM for my laptop. Whoop Love whoop. You, Anywho. Okay, and number eight, the, final, the final question, question is... What games do you plan on playing in the near future? Hmm. Well, it's definitely not going to be what that um, drum roll sounded like. Um, <laughs> joystick much there, Carrot? Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 oh my god. I just got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but just no. <laughs> you, you, you just couldn't let it be, could you? No. No. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll go first. Hmm. Your video. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually post some GTA videos, some funny GTA. Um, possibly going to be doing um, some other Game Boy games that I actually grew up with whenever I was younger. Imagine that. Um, and uh, possibly I'm going to see if I can do some PS4 games. Uh, that's that's a big if, if I have time during college, and I hope I get in graduate school. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, I'm going on a tangent for, on this one. Okay, uh, me and Tenpin are Facebook friends, and my cousin is uh, has him in his friends list. So, uh -huh. he canceled, they, uh, my cousin's school canceled. Because the, they got a dusting of snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the, uh, like I said, oh, excellent, you can have uh, an entire day to study. Uh, to study. And what is, what does Tenpin say? What does Tenpin say? I bring up the Simpsons <laughs> video that says, where Homer just pulls his head out of the window and goes, NERD! <laughs> <laughs> Such and, a bad influence. <laughs> and then, Karen, you said, because I'm desperately, I couldn't find the video. I had a better retort than I had in the first place. You said you were trying to be um, a good influence. And I tr I desperately looked for um, Peanut from <laughs> Jeff Dunham's gang. You know, saying, I'm, where he goes, I'm trying to read the story. I'm trying to be, do the right thing. I'm not. <laughs> I was trying to find Peanut saying, you know, you said, I'm trying to be a good influence. I wanted just Peanut saying, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and I, no, no, no. Okay, you want to get on a tangent? I'm sorry. You live in the South. What you call a snow stop, a school stopping snowstorm, we call, oh, so the cloud had dandruff. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You get the day off, go sledding, go ice skating, do something fun. Don't sit there behind a book, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get many snow days. Enjoy them when they're there. <laughs> getting, getting back to the question. <laughs> Ted, did you answer it? What games do I plan on? <laughs> Stop Honestly, laughing, damn it. You know, I'm planning on um, oh, God. starting uh, Five Nights. I'm starting on, I'm planning on working through Five Nights. As some of you know, when I do the So You Want to Be a Let's Player panel, I've been kind of tied to Five Nights at Freddy's lately. Um, <laughs> I have yet to complete Night 2 on any game of Five Nights, so... It's because if, he pees himself every time he plays. Well, I got sca jump Excuse scared me. out of my chair at um at uh furry migration <laughs> fifty, um, which was caught on camera, which you can find on my channel. Anywho, the um unfortunately you didn't get to see the gameplay because nobody in the room told me that there was a light washing out 
<laughs> the projector screen. Nobody told me this. <laughs> you probably looked like you were crazy, man. <laughs> so I'm going through this entire thing with slides and blah, 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 blah. And nobody tells me that the screen is washed out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking people are looking at my slides and nobody's looking at them. So I, I kind of shot myself in the hoof there. But, um, yeah, I'm also planning on when I find the time um, to start Undertale. Oh. Um, I am planning on get. I got Undertale. I'm looking forward to playing Undertale. Um, but I'm, there's so many that I'm planning on. I mean, FNAF, Sonic God is a huge fan of FNAF and he's kind of been badgering me to, uh, come on, come on, do more than night one, you idiot. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, but Undertale has kind of taken over both of us right now. Um, what was it? Uh, Deadpool. I'm really looking forward to playing oh. Deadpool because if there's ever a game where you could smart ass the character on the screen, well, hell, this character on the screen smart asses you. <laughs> so, you, know, you know, that's why I love Fidget so much from Dust Elysian Tale. But there's also one other game that I'm planning on, um, and it's called Persona 3, the portable edition. Mm-hmm. Um, I am really looking forward to playing Persona because um, it's one of those strange little RPGs that. I've yet to beat, but I I enjoy. It's one of those games where you get to choose your character's dialogue, mm-hmm. <laughs> and anyone who's a let's player knows this can be fun. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> this can be fun. I, you know, there's a lot upcoming. I just gotta do it. I mean, oh, let me ask but, you a here. Let me ask you a question, bud. Only um, if I can ask you one in return. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. What about the other games? Um, I I know people want us to finish DuckTales because they want the finale. Because we got to the semi-finale and then just cut off. Yeah, because we've got one level to, to go, Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> but um, what about the other games, man? Do you plan on finishing... Pl- um, what is it? Um, it's with Commander Shepard. I forgot what it's uh, called. Mass Effect. Mass um, Effect, that's it. Mass Effect, oh, I, I want to. I want to except for one thing. Okay. Um, my tower. I used to have a tower that I would play my games on. Its motherboard went <laughs> and oh. took my save with it. Oh, dang. Steam okay. The cloud didn't grab my save. And so, in order for me to do Mass Effect, I'd either have to start it from scratch mm-hmm. and my way back, which, let's face it, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd have to um, start at Mass Effect 2. Which I wouldn't mind because that's where I normally entered into the Mass Effect series. That was the first Mass Effect game I ever played. Oh, you cheater. <laughs> well, Mass Effect 1 never came out on the PlayStation. It was an Xbox exclusive. Oh, yeah. Um, but it has recently been released for the PlayStation. But when I entered into the um, game series, it was an Xbox exclusive. And I... All those years working at Microsoft, I cannot buy an Xbox. <laughs> you know, so... But um, the other game I keep getting asked about, and I know Mass Effect is a lot of fun, um, the other game that I keep getting asked about is, am I ever going to finish Dust? Yeah, um, I actually want you to finish that one, bud. I, I, I want to finish it too. It's just that... When I started Dust... Okay. And this is something a lot of people... I haven't really talked about before when i started dust i didn't really know what i was doing you know what i mean and i really didn't know the game either yeah because um if you had told me going into this game that there was going to be shops where you were going to buy that you had to buy stuff and that you had to craft stuff (laughs) i wouldn't have picked this game (laughs) to let's play because i'm sitting there and three things are going through my brain when i'm shopping i'm going this makes for exciting YouTube. Maybe I should put an ad here. Oh, wait, I don't monetize my videos. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the other um, the other things that go through my brain is, yeah, everybody must really be enjoying watching me smart-ass the shopkeeper going, hmm, I wonder if I can get this thing. Do I have the, do I have the blueprint for this thing? You know, I, 
I'm certain I'm boring people to death when I go shopping. And, <laughs> I, you know, I shop like a... I either shop like a drag queen or like a woman. I take forever to do it. And so it's... I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I Yes, I just went there. Shots fired. Have a nice day. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> and I hit the drag queen community. How you doing? But, um, one of these days, I'm good. There might be a, a video of me on stage at a drag show. Mm -hmm. It's a terrifying prospect. But but, uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. That's reason enough to be terrified, everybody. Um, <laughs> I have seen what this guy enjoys. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, this is our number ten. Question: What is your question, Tenpin, for me? The tenth, the tenth question for ten, from Tenpin. How ironic! Um, <laughs> <laughs> geez, what was my question? Oh, um, and this is going to be since I've done sh shameful plugs here. Where the hell can we find your ass? I'm not talking about on YouTube because if you're listening to this video, you probably found him. I'm talking about, do you go to some cons? Can we find you on campus? Where can we find your sorry ass? Oh, where do I live? I mean, for, here's what I mean. Like, for instance, and I'll do it in my case, you can find me at Anthrocon. Um, so you want to be a Let's Player was picked up at Anthrocon. Woohoo! <laughs> Or at um, Furry Migration. I mean, you can find me at conventions. Mm -hmm. So can we find the carrot at a convention? Can we, for instance, find him, I don't know, at Dragon Con? <laughs> I know? did go to Dragon Con once. That, that was a long, that was a, that was two years ago. Um, but, um, um, <laughs> um, I haven't recently gone to a convention. I've just been mainly um, focused on my studies. That's why I usually can't upload as fast as I usually do. Because being a dual research assistant for two professors and having three jobs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, a poor baby. I, oh, I have four oh. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and I get paid for all of them, too. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, oh. but, um, I, I know Cypher is trying to get me. Uh, he's trying to come down to Atlanta so he can actually interact with me. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, if there is a convention... Hey, 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 you two, get that out of your head. Taxi, I'm warning you. No, we're not going to be interacting like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, if we ever do meet up, I think we could do, like, we could probably record ourselves just like, yeah, hey, guys, nice to meet yeah. you, uh, face to face. Oh, dear God. <laughs> the only question at that point is, should I be in fursuit or not? <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> no, the furry fandom has enough problems without running into a talking carrot and a talking tiger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, so that was 10 questions, guys. Thank you so much for these questions. I mean, honestly, uh, I just I just feel like I'm, uh, I wanted to do this just to have fun with my awesome YouTube partner, Tenpin, and I'll be linking everybody who, link, who asked a question in the uh, description below, and guys, honestly, thank you. Tenpin, do you have anything to say, bud? Nerd! No, um... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do I have anything to say? Well, um, you know, normally my sign-off would be right here, but it's your video, so I'm not going to hang... I'm not going to Bigfoot you. Then you can if you want. You know, hey, if you can't love yourself, feel free to hate everybody else. <laughs> Peace. Bye, guys.